kindly from me on this. And if it's been traversed earlier when I wasn't here, I apologise, you can let me know. Uh, you're aware of the comments of the head of the AWD Alliance, Rod Eckwood, who made before your, your comments, I think, on the 22nd of May, about the, the cost issues. Uh, I think it was on the... Um, uh, on the, uh, uh, so I'm being fair to Adelaide uh, Talkback Radio to the Matt, Matt Abraham and David Bevan program on 891. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for the advertising. Are you, are you <laughs> sending a podcast? You know, <laughs> That's right. Well, I mentioned you know the commercial station and the, and the ABC. Oh. You just wanted to be even there. Oh, dear. <laughs> as always. Senator Xenophon, Senator Xenophon, when you've finished with the blatant plugs, I, I would like to let you know that when you conclude your questioning, Barring the unforeseen, we are going to move on to something else in which you also have interest in, which is Com Super. Yes. So it's in your interest to continue. I did. I did. My caveat was a bit less polite than his. I said, as long mm. as someone doesn't say something silly. But I didn't want to insult Senator Xenophon by presuming you thought he was going to say something silly. It wouldn't silly. be him. Mm. So uh, that uh, Mr. Mr. Eckwood said. Uh, about this whole issue, I think last Friday, yeah, I think we were looking at some pretty strange mathematics here, Dave, to be honest. The project cost originally was quoted $8 billion. It has gone up. Nobody's happy about that. But to divide the total project cost by three and presume that's the cost of a warship it just doesn't work. It goes on to say, principally because of the other costs that are included in the $9 billion, which includes facilities, other defence costs, purchase of missiles, the training systems, the technical publications, etc. So the unit price of the ships is not nine divided by three. Would you agree with that? Uh, well, I've already taken on notice, of course, a related question this morning. What I would say is this. Uh, from when uh, this uh, project process was started uh, to the uh, completion, uh, based on what we know today, uh, we uh, will have incurred uh, expenditure in excess of $9 billion. And the outcome uh, at the end of the process, uh, whatever the various inputs, the outcome at the end of the process will be three uh, air warfare destroyers. So. Uh, while uh, you know you might uh, you might want to argue uh, the um, you know you, while you want, might want to argue the specifics, uh, the truth is that the input by government is uh, more than nine billion dollars. The output at the end of the process is three uh, air warfare uh, destroyers. And of course, I've undertaken uh, in terms of uh, the advice that I've relied on in terms of potential comparative uh, procurement options. I've, I've already undertaken to provide some additional. Uh, information in relation sure. to that on notice. And, and my final question in respect to this chair, which you'll be very happy to hear, is that in the event that your statement to the media, the comparison of $3 billion for the locally built AWD with the $1 billion that you purport to say it would cost for a comparable ship overseas, if you are wrong on that on reflection, will you apologise? No for that comment? Uh, I stand, on notice. Well, well I, I, I'm happy to answer that now. I stand uh, by that comment based on the information, the advice that I've uh, received a along the way. All right, can, uh, you can you please table um, to this committee the information and advice that you received well, that I, I, forms the basis of your assertion of the three billion to the one billion uh, comparison? Well, the, the, Just show well, us, show us the evidence. I've already indicated to you that I will be uh, providing uh, on notice uh, the response to the question, similar question. No, that but you've asked no, no, earlier. no, this now, is what, different. Provide well, us the material that the, you purport to rely on. It's, it's where, you, where it's, you just slag off. At the at, at the at the local workforce yeah. and the ASC. Uh, well, I, I obviously well, don't agree with that characterisation. Uh, well, it, it is. It's, 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 it's a very it simple a, proposition. That, that sort of that sort of hyperbole doesn't exist. It, it, it's, well, it's, it's a very simple proposition. Well, right? no, it's, like not silly, you, it's not silly, Miss. Well, Senator McKenzie. The, 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 the government, uh, you know, when it's all said and done, based on the information in front of us now, uh, we know that the government will have to expend in excess of $9 billion for the delivery of three air warfare destroyers. Minister, just tell us, where now, can we get the same sort of warship and, for a billion dollars? Well, and... The uh, same sort of I, warship, I will, same sort of capability, same sort of tonnage, same missile system, and same range. Indeed. And, and same I have, quality. I have already undertaken to provide that advice All on right. notice. We'd love to hear from you on that. Thank you, Chair. All right, thank you.